Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Don't lament those fish caught up in the nets against all odds. Flipping and flopping wildly about in those now overloaded sinking boats on the lake of Gennesaret. So many of them, a large number of fish, right, St. Luke, he wants you to know straight up. That this is no little, no account matter. Never is. Whenever and wherever the Lord is doing the talking and his word is having its way. A large number of fish. Who could ever have guessed? Certainly not long experienced weary fishermen like Simon Peter and Zebedee's two boys, James and John. They, you heard it, had been fishing all night long and had come up goose egg, empty. Put out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch, Jesus directed Simon. Say, what? And so sure of himself, Jesus seemed as those words came tumbling out of his mouth. Put down into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. Who was he trying to fool? Simon and company knew when to fish and where to fish and what Jesus directed seemed like utter foolishness to them. It always does. Our heads just don't wrap around the word and way of the Lord. Our reason cannot fathom it. It doesn't make sense. Leastways, not according to our experience and our toiling. It didn't make sense to Elijah either. The Old Testament prophet of the Lord was simply worn and wearied by his going and his doing for the Lord. Against all odds, preaching faithfully the word into ears that would not hear and into hearts that would not believe. What good, I ask you, what good could all that preaching possibly do? It seemed so little, so insignificant against a whole rebellious, hateful world. Put out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. And out come the fish. A large number, more than just Simon's boat can handle. How come? Or, in the words of Luther's small catechism, what does this mean? It means that the Lord himself was in with and under those just washed, ready to be put away for the day nets. It means that the Lord himself was in with and under the very words that worn out and wearied Elijah preached into the face of a people that would make every effort to snuff out that word and silence that voice. Where the word of the Lord is, there is the Lord of the word. Let down the nets, and that word of the Lord makes it so. Fish are found. Boats are filled to sinking proportions. <laughs> and even, even big shots like King Ahab and Queen Jezebel are finally put in their place. The word of the Lord has its way. You can be sure of that. Don't lament those fish caught up in the nets against all odds. After all, you're one of them. Flipping and flopping about alive and living in this world. Brought up in the life-giving net of the life of Jesus. Brought up and put safe on board the ark. His holy Christian church, the communion of saints. Against all odds, God said, 
let down the nets. And down they went. Into the deepest depths of the sea where you were. Into the dark waters of the deep where Satan and his evil demons pray to possess you. To swallow you up forever in death and hell. Deep down into the darkness where you preferred to live. Where you preferred to stay, thank you, but the nets found you. God's righteous judgment surrounded you. His law cornered you and hemmed you in against all odds. Nonetheless, down go the nets. Down goes the Son of God into our very flesh, down into the waters, into the dark depths of our sin, into the very clutches of Satan, into the jaws of death, into the God-forsakenness of God's righteous wrath against sinners. Down, down. Down into hell, down goes Jesus against all odds. Swallowed up he was for three days in the belly of our death until on the third day he was spit out of the depths, spit out of the grave, alive to give life, his life, a ransom for all. The penalty for sin was paid, death was destroyed, Satan was caught by the hook of the cross. It is finished. It is finished, the Lord spoke into the God-forsakenness of your punishment. It is finished. And it is so. You are witnesses to these things up close and personal. You are a living witness. You have seen no one less than the Lord himself plunge into the waters and pull you out. Pull your children out. Pull young and old and rich and poor and brown and white and any color or culture or language pulled up and out of the depths of sin and hell and death itself pulled up out of the font, naked, stripped naked of absolutely all back-patting self-righteousness and toil, and clothed in the righteousness and work of Jesus. Pulled out of death, given life, here on board in the ark, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints against all ah. Yet this is, the, this is the way of the Word. This is the way of the Lord. His Word and His way still defy even our best reason and hotshot strength here on board in His ark, in His church. This fisherman breathes into us His breath, His life-giving, life-sustaining, holy breath. His spirit. His word is spirit and life. Coming into you from your pastor's lips as he spoke to you that word of forgiveness, it is so. Breathed into you as you read and you hear his spirit breathe words of Holy Scripture. He speaks. It's a done deal. That the life saving and life-giving word of the Lord might be let down into the dark depths of this dark and dying world, the Lutheran Heritage Foundation does its work, and I am privileged in these years of my retirement to serve the Lutheran Heritage Foundation. LHF takes those nets of God's Word in the simple core books of our Lutheran faith and we translate, publish, distribute, and introduce them all throughout the world. You know these books very well. I know you do. Luther's small and large catechism, our Lutheran confessions, a lot of works, in fact, by Luther and Chemnitz and Walther and other faithful teachers and preachers of the faith. 
A favorite of mine, A Child's Garden of Bible Stories, published back in the 40s by Concordia Publishing House, now in over 80 languages. We have these books, over 700 titles, now in over 90 countries, 88 languages and counting. This is one of our latest language editions. This is Luther's small catechism in Arabic. These are the nets that we let down together, these nets that proclaim and teach the word of the risen saving Lord. As a recognized service organization of our Lutheran Church, Missouri Senate, LHF resources all of our missionaries, all our campus pastors, our federal and state prison chaplains and pastors here at home in this country and all over the world, wherever there happen to be language needs. And I want you to know that our materials are always, always sent free of charge as God's people and congregations like yours pray for our work together and support it with their generous gifts. On average, on average, our books are printed and distributed for a little over $5 a copy. The Lutheran Church in Sudan, the Lutheran Church in Cambodia, started with just the books that we supplied to their fledgling efforts. War-weary Somalians in refugee camps will risk beatings or even death as they try to smuggle Luther's small catechism, hiding those catechisms deep within their clothing to get them back to homes and family and friends. Permit me just a moment to show you one of my favorite texts that we translate and publish. This is Luther's small catechism and I'll do it from up here this morning. This is the smallest book that we print and uh, were you to see the print of this book and you can certainly see it in Bible class a little later you would realize you need two pair of glasses to ne read this print. It used to not always be this way. The first edition of this we printed was much larger with a hard cover. This language is in Dari. Dari is the main language spoken in Afghanistan. But as we needed to reprint these, the Afghani Lutherans came to us and rather humbly they said, when you reprint them, would you please make them much smaller and please, please make them flexible. Why, we ask them rather dumbly. So, they said, so. Because you see, in that country and in many countries, you cannot be found with Christian materials on your person. Our main Lutheran Somali translator lost both his daughter and his brother, both of whom continued to do the unthinkable, to smuggle Luther's small catechism in Somali. They kept doing it against... Well, one day they were caught by militants. And they were found to have numerous copies of the small catechism strapped under their clothing. No further questions were asked. They were both beheaded. Our books train up pastors in Ghana, in Russia, in Thailand, and Brazil, and very often where our missionaries cannot go because of government restrictions like mainland China or Mongolia, our books go. And like nets let down into the deepest, darkest depths, the Holy Spirit uses these simple core books to gather people into the saving arms of Jesus, netted and kept for life. As you came into the sanctuary this morning for worship, you found in your, your worship folder this trifold that tells you a whole lot more about the work of the Lutheran Heritage Foundation in the world, especially during this year, 2015, as we are working in 14 new languages. And yes, you'll notice that there's a tear-off envelope as part of this trifold. If the Lord of the Church should so move you this day to 
provide your gift in support of this work of translation and distribution of these great Lutheran texts all over the world. What a great blessing that would be. And I know that as you leave today, you'll have an opportunity to place those envelopes or your, your gift into an offering plate as you leave. Don't lament those fish caught up in the nets against all odds. Instead, join the fishermen. Let down your nets for a catch. This fishing trip is for life, the life that He gives. Life from the water, life in the boat, in the hands, in the Lord's presence forever. A large number of fish from every nation and tribe and people and language standing before the throne and in front of the Lamb wearing white robes with palm branches in their hands. This is the Lord's great fishing expedition against all odds. But we have his word and he will catch fish in the name of Jesus. Amen.